Okay, so I'm going to record this uh, class just in case uh, anyone that missed this orientation class would like to um, attend, I take the class, so you have at least the recording video. All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, welcome back to Kiawe Tech. Uh, I know it's been a busy week for most of you. So we'll try to make this orientation class as short as possible uh, because I know it's a busy day for you, so you want to continue with your schedule. So this is a class where we were going to learn about uh, Amazon Web Services training. Um, we have one of the best people in the field that will be leading this training, uh, Ahmed, Ahmed Yusuf Fahad. Uh, he's going to be our instructor on this, for this program. Um, um, so this program will start immediately after we agreed on the planning. What is it, uh, the days that we're going to be having these classes. We've already had a couple of days that we are going to suggest and I know most of you are here, you have questions in your mind, and uh, we will give you room to ask questions, uh, have some doubts you want to clarify um, before we, uh, we conclude at the end of today. So um, we all know how important this program is for us, especially the cloud computing program. Uh, you know, we at Kiawe Tech, we offer a series of programs that actually addresses mostly, most of you that are joining this have a database background. So um, our programs are really focused mostly on that same aspect. Uh, when we talk about cloud computing, uh, it's so vast that we, um, we have to limit it to a certain area in order to understand it and be proficient. Because once you just open it up, it becomes very difficult to really master exactly what you're doing. So, so this is really uh, an overview. I'm going to give room for Ahmed to say more um, about it. And then we will get to give room for you guys to ask the questions that you have. And then we will uh, try as much as possible to address all, all the concerns before we go into the schedule, all right? So Ahmed, uh, if you don't mind, please uh, just say a word with the students and um, um, do you mind if you, I forgot to ask, I don't know where the video is working so they can at least see you, the instructor that will be taking care of. <laughs> so right now I didn't set up my camera, I'm just sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm planning to do that uh, later. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So welcome everyone uh, to uh, basically our orientation session here regarding uh, Amazon Web Services. Uh, so, a quick introduction about me. My name is Ahmed Youssef. Uh, I have been working with AWS technology for the last five years of my life. Uh, I'm working like on daily basis as a full cloud engineer. Um, basically, also I'm an AWS authorized uh, instructor. Uh, I'm already certified for solution architect professional and DevOps engineering. This is basically here like a quick introduction about uh, me, basically. So uh, this training, we, we, we just needed to have something like a detailed uh, sessions where we're able to have uh, an actual understanding about the official preparation courses for like multiple certification when it comes to AWS. Um, basically, you know, let me see if I can basically like share my screen here. Okay. And I'm going to be opening uh, like uh, my actual uh, certification roadmap from AWS at some. So you can see clearly you know, when it comes to like certification oh, roadmap. Uh, I'll, I'll press on the oh. Guys, please, yeah? meet your lines, please, so that we have a quiet environment. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Okay. So basically, when it comes to like uh, the AWS certification roadmap, we have multiple full actual tracks there. So this is going to be like main three tracks, and this is going to be the architecture track, um, basically system operation tracks, and developer tracks. And you can see clearly that every one of these basically certifications is going to be having an associate level and some kind of like a professional level. So basically, when we we have been like thinking about okay, so we need to uh, like establish some kind of good understanding about what is cloud computing, what is basically AWS. So that's why basically in order to have a better understanding you need to go through that 
actual solution or associate level first because this is basically an actual certification or an actual course uh, just developed for giving you as much as it can basically provide as basically like essential knowledge about the main services when it, when it comes to AWS, how to host databases on, on AWS, how to host like servers, how about like monitoring solutions, how about automation solution, what else I'm able to do with AWS. So how about this? How many like uh, actual valid solution, right? Like today, I am and have. If you're going to be like guessing something, and basically, like some of you can can be giving me something like numbers. Let's say 100. Let's say 150. Let's say 20. Something like that. But the actual valid number of solutions Amazon have after this more of like more than 5,000 valid solutions. Imagine. That's why there, there has to be something like a solution, act, act, uh, solution uh, Arctic track where you're able to uh, like understand and basically tackle based on the customer need, um, basically uh, just transform that customer need into actual solution and into actual architecture. And this is basically why uh, you need to go through the actual architecture session. Regarding our actual like name frame or like schedule here, we're going to be tackling two main courses there and this is going to be like the architecture associates first then we're going to be going to system operations why going to system operation not developer so basically developers like another associate level course for like giving uh giving like my, my students there uh, like the actual understanding about the developing tools in AWS. i understand that most of you is not really keen about to, like developing in AWS, and this is totally fine but this ops is all about having some kind of some kind of like good understanding about uh, the basic solutions and basic uh, like uh, daily tasks working on AWS. So while basically solution arc is going to be providing you with essential knowledge, operation is going to be an extension for that, that actual knowledge, how you're going to be working with something like demoing stuff of here and there. Or how about like uh, deploying multiple environments, multiple, uh, let's say into multiple data centers, if we need to have uh, like a high available solution. We're going to be discussing more and more about this and some kind of like really hot topics regarding, for example, something called infrastructure as a code, where you're able to have uh, an entire infrastructure into actual templates and this is how the really big corporate today a basically is going to be working out. So after this, we're going to be allowing some kind of like time. Why? Because our architect, um, basically operation or system operation associate level, it's going to be taking a little bit of time for you to just like be able to digest the knowledge itself. Of course, we're going to be having multiple labs and everything. Actually, we have uh, some kind of like uh, actual uh, official lab environment from AWS, and this is going to be AWS Quick Labs. And um, later, we're going, I'm going to ask each one of you to create uh, an actual uh, email and basically register himself completely for free and um, basically quick labs is more of like a third party company that even uh, like amazon official courses and uh, basically google official courses tend to be hosting everything on top of that domain so we're going to be doing more of like actual work around this domain and have actual labs where you're able to have uh, like uh, let's say for example i'm trying to uh, like launch virtual servers on top of aws i understand that uh, many of you have gone through azure and this is totally fine of course we're going to be doing it from amazon perspective how you're going to be tackling this and that okay so basically after that i'm going to be allowing you some time to digest it because i know how like how uh, like complex it will be just going through directly from the associate level to the professional level because after that i'm going to be tackling in the professional level and here we're going to be focusing more about the solution of professional by the way, you can see clearly that and like we have three associate levels. So architect associate, develop, developer associate, a system operation associate. Regarding the professional certification, we have only AWS Solution Architect Professional there. This is, this is the one. And we have also with the actual DevOps certification. And DevOps certification, DevOps professional basically, is the, the professional level of both operation and developer course. So basically after giving you some time and basically uh, going through some like questions, maybe uh, uh, we're going to be allowing you to take that time to study the material and basically do your homework there. Um, let's say uh, pursuing some of these kind of certification, maybe we can have like sessions of uh, how to tackle the exam and everything. And after that, we're going to be going directly to AWS Solution and Professional, where we're going to be taking it to a little bit higher level there. Um, with AWS Solution and Professional, we're talking about how to manage multiple accounts environments. So let's say you have 
20 different accounts, how you're going to be managing uh, like uh, users, access controls, how you're going to be uh, managing stuff like permissions and everything. We're going to be discussing more and more about all this kind of like really uh, essential topics in into the official preparation course within when it comes to AWS Solution Arc Professional. So this is basically just a quick actual like summary of uh, basically the program and what we're planning to do. Of course, uh, like every uh, week we're having something like uh, two or three sessions, basically according to uh, your need. Um, since this is like, uh, it's going to be like a little bit uh, lightweight, um, basically we're going to be doing lots and lots of actual demos. So while doing the actual training, I'm going to be providing you with, uh, with actual demos into my own AWS account. Basically, um, after that, we're going to be like choosing some of these labs where you're able to do it, and I'm able to just help you through the labs. Uh, this is going to be completely smoothly together. So basically, this is like all, all about uh, the actual program and everything. Of course, I, I have like more uh, like uh, topics to cover there, but I would like to hear, hear more about you. I, I already like, uh, Dennis had, had already mentioned that uh, many of you had some kind of like questions you need to tackle, uh, what uh, like things that, that basically is going to be uh, with a big interest to you guys. Um, yes, please. Uh, Dennis, can you please just like uh, organize this? Maybe anyone can. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Ahmed. Uh, this is a very good overview of the, the program. Um, we, uh, open room for, uh, I know you might have other questions that you have, but as far as the, the overview is concerned, is there anyone that want to have a question, clarifications or concern? Uh, feel free to unmute yourself uh, because all of your lines are muted right now. Um, why they're trying to unmute yourself, Mohammed? Uh, I just want to ask one question here. Um, um, the, 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 it starts up here with a, a fundamental level. I do see that Amazon uh, put up this number of years, uh, six months, one year, or two years. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe throw more light on, on that? Is that the time frame that Amazon expect you to master this material or what does it really mean by that? So basically this is all about like best of breaks for AWS. That uh, basically this is the time that Amazon is going to be requiring you to just have uh, like a like a good understanding and basically some kind of like uh, hands-on experience. Uh -huh. So is it uh, an actual requirement? No. Um, basically so many actual customers into who tackle the entire uh, certification into like less than. So for example, like in a few months, they tackle multiple certifications at the same time. This is totally fine. Mm -hmm. But this is just like the standard. So let's say I don't know anything about cloud computing and I'm just just knew, knew that. So it is a good understanding, like it is like a standard to wait some some kind of like time before pursuing the actual certification. Mm -hmm. But this is not a standard. Yeah, and that explained guys also the reason why uh, after the associate and CSOP training, there's some break, which gives you enough room to be able to answer, uh, maybe t follow up and pass the certification before you move on to the professional because if you finish this associate and then you just jump into the professional, it becomes too much material that most of you will not be able to assimilate. So it gives you some time to do some more labs, practice, take the certification, and then continue with the training. Now, for those of you who will sign up here, I know some people have contacted me. They only want to do the fundamental class. Some people say they want to only do the associate. Some really go all the way to professional. Um, if you have not... Uh, if you have one of these, reach out to me personally. I'll give you, um, uh, uh, I'll, I'll advise you based on the, your financial engagement towards this and uh, for you to have an understanding what will be required of you, especially if you want to, if you don't want to do the entire program. All right. Okay. I see Anime's hand is up. Yes, Anime, please go ahead. Um, unmute yourself, please. Yeah. <coughs> yes. Um. Just a, a quick question, mm -hmm. Ahmed. Um, so somebody like me, uh, I know nothing about AWS. I don't even know the definition. So uh, what advice will you give to me that I really want to uh, be in this class? Uh, so what would be your best advice to a layman like me when it comes to AWS? 
So basically, this this classroom is just uh, for the guys like you. Because, why? Because with a with associate solution uh, associate, we just start from the basics. What is cloud computing? What is like we're and then we're just like building service by service, service by service. So here's the thing. So in terms of like actual certification, so you can see this kind of like cloud practitioner thing and just like foundational and everything. Uh, in the real world, it is more of like two to three hour actual sessions, basically covering them in uh, like working with like fundamentals and everything. And here's the thing. Everything that I just teach in, into the cloud practitioner, I just like we teach that into the associate course. So that's why Solution Arc Associate is basically the first step going to AWS Cloud Computing. And this is basically what I'm going to do. So it is not going to be uh, an actual uh, course for like professional, like uh, guys who just understand what's cloud computing. We're going to be, be covering everything. And here's the thing. Even if you don't know about like cloud computing, so let's say you have gone through like any other vendor, something like Google Cloud Platform or even like Azure from Microsoft, this is totally fine. You're going to be finding that there is going to be major changes and major uh, actual uh, like like differences between every one of these vendors. So even if you know oh, like that thing or that thing, you're going to be completely new to this kind of material. Okay, <clears throat> that answers my question. So, yeah, so we have like from basic yeah. Basic, basic, yeah. Real basic. Yeah, so everything starts off from the very basic. Uh, and of course, we do accept that, uh, uh, know that some of you already have experience in the IT field, but in maybe in a different domain, but we start off from the scratch. There's also, um, Ahmed, get it? Yeah, there is also, there is a certification for cloud pr practitioner. If you just want to know that basic, just do this cloud practitioner and, and then move on, that's fine. But then it starts off from the beginning, just like in Azure, where we start off with the Azure Fundamental AZ 900 certification. We build up from scratch, assuming that no, no, you come in here completely blank, and then we build up the knowledge till you actually get to that level. All right. So you're going in for a longer engagement, but at least you get out of this training fully armed uh, to be able to address most of the concerns that we have out there. Yeah. Yeah. And just tell me a little bit, a little bit more about the speciality that you have on the right, the technical speciality. Uh, I do see here, this is for us, are these different route of training or throughout this training will some people, can you decide to move to that direction? Can you tell me a little bit more about that, please? Okay. So basically speciality courses more of like uh, actual courses that is basically made for just specialized uh, actual architectures of cloud computing. So let's say, for example, I'm already solution architect professional, so I understand the basic about cloud computing. Mm -hmm. And then let's say I am working full time as a database administrator. Then I can just go ahead and basically go to that database specialty. So it means that you're going to be more specialized into understanding the database solutions with AWS. And for example, with database solution from AWS, we have relational database, which is like RDS. We have like hosting database on top of like actual servers. We have uh, actual geographical uh, like databases, just like Amazon Neptune. We have no SQL databases, just like, so lots and lots of actual stuff. So this is basically more of like oriented classroom or oriented actual uh, like a certification for only this, this kind of guys. And here's the thing, I mean, this, this actual specialty courses is not going to be covering any basics. So it means that you need to be having a good understanding about like the architecture, uh, the architecture uh, like system operations developing. Of course, if you do have the actual knowledge, you're able to tackle all this like certification right, right on. Um, basically, uh, Amazon uh, best practice regarding the actual time you need to uh, to wait before going with this kind of like speciality course is just like uh, two years or something like that. Of course, uh, like uh, uh, as Dennis has already mentioned, and most of you are basically something like uh, already uh, professional database administrator. This is totally fine. You're able to pursue that, but I guarantee you this. So you're going to be understanding the database section of this knowledge, but you don't understand more about that section. Mm -hmm. So basically, both of them is just like acquired. The main tracks is like the three tracks, architecture, system operation, and developer. Speciality then is going to be like, let's say I'm a speciality in security, then I need to be pursuing a speciality certificate in security. I'm working as like network administrators, I'm basically hosting multiple uh, like customers working with AWS and let's say uh, multiple on-premises location and like uh, connection, connectivity and everything. 
So we have already advanced it working for you. So let's say I'm working with like big data and everything. We have data analysis. I'm working with like machine learning. We already have, have also machine learning. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The answers that very well. Um, any question, guys? I do have a question for yes. Ahmed. Um, so when you do the foundational and you get to the associate, so are we required to do the associate solutions architect, the system ops administrator and developer, or are we just doing one of each before you move well, up to the professional? Yeah, so here, here's the thing. Regarding the program itself, we're going to be like starting right away with the associate. And with that level, I'm going to be covering all about cloud practitioner within, within that. This is like one thing, this is regarding the program. But if you're like asking about pursuing the certification, so basically one year ago, Amazon had uh, just removed every limitation. So you're able to pursue any certification anytime if you have the knowledge. Okay, but in, in, into that program, we're going to be covering like, like two main courses are like from the associate level, and this is going to be solution associate. And with that solution associate, I'm going to be covering all you need to know from the cloud practitioner knowledge. Um, basically, after that, we're going to be going directly to SysOps administrator. And with this course, we're going to be understanding more about like ha having hands on experience, like daily hands on experience. You are a system admin, and you are required to do stuff. They're required to do something like deployment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Thank you. And to add a little okay. more on that, uh, the, the, like I said, cloud computing is extremely vast. It's very, very difficult for you to just go to the cloud and know everything. Well, there are people here that maybe uh, are more towards the development part of the thing. And when they go to the cloud, they want to know more about Amazon Web, um, Amazon, uh, AWS Developer Associate. Uh, but that's not the route we are following here. Uh, but we at least we are going through the the associate route, the as, solution associate route, which incorporates CISOP, and then you move to the professional route. All right. So just for you to have that understanding, uh, you can do everything because it's extremely vast, and uh, based on your background, you you see these are the, the different routes that we that we. Yes, uh, Enami, you had a question. I may please. Um, <coughs> sorry, you're not. You're not. A little, you're, you're, you're not really clear. Your, your audio is not really clear. So oh, the okay. question I want to ask. <coughs> I've seen a lot of people on LinkedIn with the AW, AWS uh, Solution Architect. So I I, I kind of have a knowledge when it comes to Azure. What Azure Solution Architect does. But I don't really understand what AWS Solution Architect because that's like the, the majority of what I see everywhere. So uh, say I finish these fundamentals, right? I'm interested to move to associate. I have the, the choice of Solution Architect, SysOp, and Developer. What is the benefit of this Solution Architect? I'd, I've been trying to read to see why everybody's having AWS Solution Architect. Okay. So can you hear me quite good, uh, Inami? Yes, sir. Okay. So basically, here's the thing. So I don't know about like other uh, actual cloud vendors, but here's the thing. With AWS certification, they made it like, so for example, we don't cover the actual business every time regarding services. And instead, everything is just like a complete building. And here's the thing, with AWS Solution Associate, we're going to be covering all about basics regarding those kind of like services. So working with EC2 Nexus, what is Lambda for like developing? What is like API gateways? What is all about this kind of cert certification and all of these kind of like services, okay? But here's the thing, with system operation, we just build more on top of these services we covered its basics into the solution associate. That's why like almost anyone and working with AWS tend to just starting by solution associate level. Yeah. So so basically uh, in this training you will not have a class which is just a cloud practitioner. We you are starting off with solution uh, architect level which air, the training that you are done, you'll be able, if you're only interested in taking the cloud professional, you'll be able to, because it's already built in into it. And then after that, we add the CISOP 
and then give you a break before we move on to the professional level. Yeah. Okay, that answers my question. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any other question so far? All right. Okay. So if there's no further question, um, uh, I will, what, um, are you, um, I mean, just to you, let them understand about what is the, the, what is this, the trainee is supposed to actually do in order to pass the certification. Uh, some people here have asked some questions about the, the certification um, and how easy is it to pass the certification or are there certain material that we will, that we, that they will need to prepare in order to pass the certification or what help can we provide in that direction for the certification? So basically this is going to be like more of like uh, preparation course. Mm -hmm. So it means that I'm going to be covering all about the knowledge they need you to know about each one of the servants. Of course, I'm going to be providing them with something like questions here and there where they're able to just like uh, go through them, uh, basically having a good understanding. After each each kind of like course, we're going to be finishing together. I'm going to be providing with what we call like a best of practices, what you need to do in order to tackle all the actual certification because actual questions in, inside the certification tend to be changing all the time. So having a good understanding. So for example, one of, of the actual uh, things that I just like suggest at the end of each certification is that you need to understand the console. So understanding the concept means that I need to go, um, basically, let's say, uh, opening some service from AWS. So let's say I'm going to be opening VPC. Then I need to understand what is VPC. I need to understand the actual features I'm able to see here. So where to basically understand this VPC? So what kind of options are going to be happening? Subnets, route tables, alternate gateways, NAT gateways, like transit gateways, lots and lots of actual stuff we're going to be, be covering later and um, I'm going to be providing you with actual demos then. So it's going to be all about you, where I'm going to be just providing you with the tools. And after that, you need to be doing the actual thing yourself. Of course, I'm going to be providing you with something like uh, questions here and there, because here's the thing. So sometimes you're going to be facing in, into the exam that, okay, I know this uh, like information and I know it's really, really good. But the question itself is going to be a little tricky. Uh, this is going to be more into the professional level because into the professional level certification, they are going to be providing you something like uh, a question with so many actual valid answers mm -hmm. and you need to be choosing the most fitting answer. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. So, uh, so the questions are mostly, I mean, for those of you who have taken certifications out here are multiple choice questions, but that's kind of tricky because the answers are kind of really, really similar and you got to uh, uh, be very careful the way you choose them. But we will have some classes also once you are done with this first part of the training, just to revise, have some knowledge about the certification, help you uh, in taking the certification. And uh, hopefully, you'll be able to all get this, write the certification and pass it. Yes, NM, NM. Uh, sorry, I, 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 forgot to, I, I forgot to drop my hand. No oh, question. sorry. Okay, okay, all right. All right, uh, any other question for anybody? All right. Okay. Um, so looking at the, the schedule so far, uh, and consider the fact that Ahmed is actually um, a different geographical region. Uh, we've come out, we've looked at the schedule, we've been able to come out with a couple of suggestions which we are going to talk to you. The good thing here is that it's a very small class. So hopefully we are able to agree on the time uh, within a very short time possible. Um, the classes, we all know uh, these associate classes will all be recorded. Uh, we may have some sessions that are not recorded based on uh, what environment is being presented. Uh, if he has to work in his lab environment, we can present or can show that, but most of the, 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 the classes will be recorded, which means it's, as we're going through this schedule, please be mindful of the fact that it's difficult to uh, um, to satisfy everybody, especially in a group where people have different work schedule. So you've got to have some compromise uh, as far as agreeing on the time is concerned. So now we have the, the following three different slots. So these classes are supposed to be a two hour class. Uh, um, 
if, and we plan to have two sessions per week. Um, it could also, we want you guys to understand that we want uh, a flexible kind of schedule. If there's really something going on, we will notify you way ahead of time just to divert a little bit from the schedule that you are having, but at least you need to have a fixed schedule that you plan if you have to take off from work to plan and you know that. So we have these three different slots. We're providing three different slots and we want us to choose two out of it. Each slot should be two hours. So we have a, a Fridays, right? Friday programs from uh, a 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's all the time I'm giving you uh, in Central Standard Time uh, from a 6 p.m. to an 8 p.m. And then we have Saturdays, uh, Saturdays from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. And a Sunday from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. for the next couple of months. Um, like we say, it's, we are flexible with you guys as well as if the instructor has some kind of engagement and cannot make it in one of these we will notify you way ahead of time so we agreed on a different schedule now let's start off from uh friday um they're very is there anybody here because all these different slots we are okay with any of them so we can choose any of this um is there anyone here that has a problem which from Friday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I don't have. Okay. If you have a problem, just let me know. Quiet, quiet means we are good with that. Um, I'm not choosing it, but I'm just, I just want to first of all see who has issues with that. Okay. All right. So Friday, there's no one with, a, no one has issues on Friday. Now, uh, Saturday from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Is there anyone that has a problem with that? I do. Okay, you have a problem with that. Who else? Okay. Sundays, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Good for me. Is there anyone else that has a problem with this time? Okay, so nobody has a problem with that. So, um, enemy for the Saturday program that you have, do you have a, a program uh, with the entire time on Saturday? Or it's something that you, is it the, the entire two hours you have an issue with that? Yes, because um, <clears throat> I'm also um, in the, the Azure class, uh -huh. And then, uh, you know, Saturday uh -huh. is the only day that I, I actually have to run errands and stuff like that. So I'm actually in the Azure class. Mm -hmm. So when the Azure class ends at 12, 11.30 Central, uh -huh. that, <clears throat> that gives me a window to do stuff that I, okay. I, wasn't, I wasn't able to do in the morning. Okay. That is why like it's 3 p.m. this time is good. Uh -huh. But immediately after the Azure class will not be good for me and Sunday is good for me too. Okay. All right. So now let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Um, I know we need two days a week, uh, but I would have possibility. I'm so happy that most of you don't have a problem with uh, any of these three days, but um, I would like to start with days that no one has an issue with it, uh, like a Friday and a Sunday with a possibility of having a class on Saturday if we have to change based on schedule. Right? If any, there's anything going on. All right? Yeah, sounds good. Ahmed, uh, you are the major person here concerned. Uh, does that sound good with you? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, all right. So, so we are talking about a Friday and a Sunday Friday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and a Sunday 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. with a possibility of moving a class to a Saturday 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Just in case we have a week with so many projects and uh, we would like to really finish the projects in the week, that slot can be used for... 
I agree. I'm flexible too. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. Perfect. All right. Um, um, I like that. I like the time. I like this, this schedule. And uh, um, if you guys don't have any further questions, generally when we are done with orientation, a class starts immediately, which means the, the next session that we're going to start will be on Friday. Friday, oh, um, 6 p.m. to, uh, yes. Yes, please. What, I know this is not an Azure class, but what is the schedule for the Azure class too? Uh, the, the Azure class is Mondays and Saturdays. What time? Mondays, 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. And uh, uh, Saturdays from, from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, if there is no question, you, most of you are already in the forum. Uh, the meeting, I, the meeting will take place via Zoom. Um, like we said, if you have to miss a class, it's always nice to let the instructor let me know. So at least we are aware of whether you are in class or you are completely dropped out. At least just for that, you know. But apart from that, we will have uh, classes this time. If there's any changes that are supposed to take place, we will let you know way ahead of time so you can make changes to that. Uh, apart from, if there's no other question, I want to wish you guys a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys on Friday at 6 p.m. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank so, you. thank you, guys. Uh, nice to meet you. All right. Okay. Nice to meet you. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.